Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So this is going to be another video where I'm kind of like trying to recreate outfits. Last time, which was the first time actually, I tried to recreate Blackpink's outfit to kind of, you know, celebrate their comeback pre-release actually, pre-release. And I was genuinely surprised to see the response by you guys. I was very self-conscious in that video. I didn't know whether you guys would be enjoying it or not since this is not typically the type of concept that I do on my channel, you know? So I was very, very wary and like very anxious, but the overall response was very good. And so I am now feeling more comfortable coming on here and doing this video. So I hope you guys will enjoy. And this time around, I'm not sticking to one particular group. I try to branch out a little bit to have more viral Ready, you know and I even included a boy group in this video so I've been mentioning this a few times already on my channel and on my Instagram but I now have a card with a yes style almost all if not all of them all the items that I will be showing in this video are from yes style so yeah I don't think I need to introduce yes style I feel like if you are a K-pop fan or like, or like a fan of like the Asian culture in general, everyone knows of Yes Style. It's basically a website where you can, you know, get clothes, shoes, uh, skincare, like from Japan, South Korea, you know, it, it's catering to many people and they have a lot of stuff over there. So if you are interested, I will be leaving a link in the description box below, as well as my code GZB Karma for you guys to save some money during checkout. There you go. So why brainstorming for this video? What I wanted to do is I wanted to find articles on Yes Style that would come close to any of the outfits that I chose to recreate. So I have one for Yujin of Itzy, one for Jenny of Blackpink, then one of Joy from Red Velvet, and finally one of Sam from ATS. And if you know me, you might have realized that all of them are my biases. Now, yes, I have had a, an epiphany <laughs> regarding Itzy, you know, I didn't know who my bias was, you know, but I think I've, my mind has settled on Yujin because I don't know, she just blew me away with a wannabe uh, comeback, you know, she, you know, she charmed me with her that. <laughs> with this shoulder thing. So yeah, it's kind of like me recreating my biases outfits basically. So without further ado, let me just start with Joy's outfit first because it is probably the one that is the furthest from my comfort zone. I do not wear prints, leopard, tiger, stuff like that. I don't wear it. I don't know. It's not my thing, but I wanted to kind of like challenge myself a little bit and get out of my comfort zone because during the last video, that's what I said like, I was very out of my comfort zone and you guys kind of like, I wouldn't say push me or whatever, but you kind of like challenge me in wanting to get out of my comfort zone. So here I am, I'm going to be trying this outfit. So like I said earlier, this is not like the exact same print or the exact same article that Joy is wearing, but I tried to really get the article that was the closest, like the most similar to what she's wearing. And yeah, this is definitely not something that I would choose to wear. I would not pay to wear this. But hey, who knows? Maybe it's gonna be like an another epiphany. Who knows? <laughs> the next item is one of their like most popular jeans that they are selling on the website. Okay, so the pants fit me very well. It's kind of like, you know, the right length, etc. The only thing is that it has a little bit more extra loose fabric here. I don't mind it really, but you know, just keep that in mind as well. It's kind of loose here. Also, there are a few details. There are two hooks here. If you have a tiny mini itsy bitsy waist, you could probably hook it both sides. I can't. I, I'm, uh, as I said, I'm a little bit more meaty here. <laughs> so I can only hook like one side of it. I no. I, even if I wanted to, I would not be able to. <laughs> I don't know why I feel like this print just make me look so ridiculous. I don't know. I mean, it fits nicely, you know, it's loose, it's comfortable, etc. But the, the vibe that I'm getting from this is not, it's not what I like. <laughs> Maybe if I make it more tight around the waist so that, so that it doesn't look too baggy altogether. I think I like it already much better if it's like in a crop version. I'm not mad at it now like that. <laughs> I feel like it's because of the fit and how my body is and so it doesn't really fit in my body type if that makes sense. Now Joy I believe is one probably one of the most voluptuous or like glamorous body in the k-pop industry. She has such an incredible hourglass body in my opinion. A lot of the time I personally look up to her quite a lot in terms of like fashion and everything because her thighs are more thick than what you would usually see. I kind of like you know inspire myself from her fashion from time to time. Now just one thing that I'd like to note is that if you are maybe taller than I am the pants might look a bit short on you. I'm 168 so it fits right around my ankle you know but if you are taller just keep in mind 
mind that this might look a little bit too short on you or the opposite if you're like smaller than I am that it might look too long on you you know as always when it comes to like shopping online just make sure that you are checking you know the value the centimeters the sizes etc just to make really really sure that you're not putting your money in something that won't fit you now that I think of it my hair is kind of like playing into this whole camouflage print type of thing with two colors you know with two tones like this you know actually the more I'm looking at it the more I'm into it I'm not mad at the combination it's casual but it's also like a statement piece so if you're into that type of styling etc you go for it honestly next I'm gonna do Jenny so Jenny there it is this is the infamous fashion look that she was wearing in one of the airport I don't know which one I don't remember which one but as I said in the last video I personally feel like airport looks are probably my favorite of all times even more than you know award shows and stuff like this because it tells a lot about someone because I know for a fact that when I go take a plane or whatever when I have a flight I don't dress like that <laughs> I will try to be as comfortable as possible and I literally look like a sloth uh, who hasn't showered for like I don't know 20 days when I actually have showered like just that morning you know so that's my experience when I fly <laughs> but I do somehow just manage to look absolutely flawless I don't know how like they come out of the plane looking absolutely fabulous and I'm just here like teach me how sis <laughs> teach me how because I know if I don't look like that when I uh, step out of the plane you know so yeah <laughs> this was a set you know the cardigan and the top all right so um, <laughs> I feel very exposed at the moment because let me tell you this top is tiny it's tiny and I, I wouldn't say like I have like hu a huge chest or whatever I'm most basically flat chested but when I'm telling you this is tiny this rides up like this goes up way too high this is not a crop top this is this is this is a bra <laughs> this I, I never wear anything that is so close to up there like no this, this, I can't go out like this and mind you I have already stretched it because when I received it I was like I knew for a fact that it wouldn't you know fit me there so I was like okay let me stretch it a little bit and this is the best that I could get from stretching it and honestly like you guys I feel very, very much conscious about if I just like, you know, do this, it's gonna ride up for sure. If I remember correctly, this was in one size only. So that one is on me. I should have checked a little bit better the sizing, but holy crap, I would never go out like this. That said, the cardigan fits quite well. You know, this one is more of like a regular size, I would say. That top is a, uh, uh, I feel like this, Mm. <laughs> so far with every Jenny uh, outfit that I have tried my sternum tattoo is just oh I'll for you guys to see <laughs> alright that's enough I have to move on I feel so self-conscious and uncomfortable with every single move that I make okay next outfit I'm going to be recreating is Susan's outfit during one of the award show I believe this must be one of the outfits that I'm the most excited for because I could potentially wear it I could see myself wearing it during a concert for example I usually for concert go all out I'm very extra during concert when I attend a concert it's one of those few times where I'm actually going out so that's why I kind of like allow myself to go a little bit like more extra usually so this is one of those looks which I would describe as being more extra so there you go so the skirt and this fishnet uh, shirt I got from yesterday the other items are mine but I'm gonna try to make it work all together I am sweating here is the look um it's too hot it's way too hot what i'm gonna do is just i'm going to be tucking the bottom part of the fishnet it has this you know this bend here at the bottom of it i don't really like it so i'm gonna tuck it underneath the bra that i have underneath like i said earlier this is something that i could potentially wear for a concert is very much extra is very much boom and it fits the concept what i like to do most of the time when i go and attend a concert is i like to be in theme <laughs> so it's kind of like a costume type of party or whatever for me i like to be on theme with the group that is performing so i feel like this is pretty much spot on not identical but close enough. I remember under my Itzy wannabe reaction, one of the comments that stuck out to me the most 
was a lot of people thought I was Ryujin on the thumbnail because I had really short blonde hair at that time and people thought that was Ryujin I was like what? <laughs> I mean I'm taking the compliment like honestly uh, I take it because she is absolutely gorgeous like I remember watching Mix 9 and I didn't get the hype at that time I gotta be honest I was like okay yeah she's a great dancer but I don't get the hype and like I said at the beginning I had an epiphany during the wannabe uh, era because oh my gosh she just oh, she just swept me under my feet and like that's it she took me to Biasland <laughs> like I know many people had tried this challenge you know the shoulder challenge I am so out of breath oh my god the coordination that you need to do this I don't get it how do people do this I don't know. All right, this is getting really, really hard. <laughs> Last but not least, I am finally going to be trying to recreate a boy group's member outfit. Is that the right order to say it in? I. So since I said it in the beginning already, it's no surprise, but I will be trying to recreate one of San's look during, I don't remember if that was wave or illusion, but he had that overall um, with like, paint specks on it and like a really bright neon green shirt underneath a bucket hat, a white bucket hat and I managed to somehow find similar like articles on YesStyle so this entire outfit is from YesStyle the bucket hat, the overalls and the shirt I'm gonna put that on and I'm gonna talk about the sizing really quickly after that I look like I'm in my pajamas in a little bit <laughs> if I could I would probably wear pajamas all day that's already mostly what I do, but you know, I just expose myself. <laughs> all right, so let's focus back on the outfit, the item. This one, this shirt, first of all, is adorable. I love this little details here, this cutout, so freaking cute. It also has this little, you know, imprimé, imprimé print here. <laughs> and lastly, I feel like this is the big reveal of the shirt. This one has this huge print in the back and I freaking love it. So now those overalls, I'm so out of breath you guys you don't even know how out of shape i am to be out of bra breath when i'm changing anyways this overall i tried it when i got it at first and <laughs> let me tell you my thighs were not friends with it <laughs> like i was like i got in the overalls and my thighs were like let me get out <laughs> because as i said my thighs are the region of my body which takes fat the easiest and the fastest you know I'm one of those type of girls who when they gain weight the the weight would go in the thighs there you go so I'm that type of girl you call it whatever you want you know thick fat whatever I was just like they, they're not gonna be friends <laughs> however I don't know what happened but like I tried it once again yesterday just to make sure like you know let's see let's check whether my body just like I don't know mysteriously changed over the span of like a few weeks and guess what I fit <laughs> I mean I fit well enough so that I can actually wear it on camera because that would have been so disappointing if I got this and I wouldn't have been able to show you guys I actually found like a plan B in case that wouldn't fit I had like this dress overall I'm gonna try it on afterwards also to kind of like show you two different vibes of the outfit that you can probably go for but I'm gonna be sticking to this first and I'm going to be showing you guys how it looks on me okay it works, it works. Whew. Now there are the few buttons here as well that you need. Oh, remember, when you buy stuff on, you know, yes styles websites like this, most of the time you will receive the articles with, you know, those, those button holes. There won't be cut, they won't, there won't be any opening. So you would have to go in yourself with the scissors or whatever and cut the hole yourself. So just keep that in mind. You know, I got used to it ever since I was little because I used to, you know, shop in Vietnam and in Vietnam is the same case, you know. I look like a kid. <laughs> I'm 24, <laughs> soon to be 25. So do I feel like I look ridiculous? Yes, but I look cute. So do I? Or is it just like an impression? Okay. <laughs> Make this look a little bit more badass, I guess. Since it is eight T's we're talking about. I'm gonna add this little chain here. Oh, I'm for sure. Oh, I'm already putting makeup in this white bucket hat. I hate this. There's this bulge here because of the shirt that I tucked in, you know, in a in a knot earlier. But if you somehow manage to, you know, roll up the shirt without it having too much of a hem, that it would look really, really great. You know, this is kind of like getting me very like nostalgic because I actually had a ticket 
to 80s as a concert when they were coming, planning still at that time, coming to France, you know, to Paris. And now it's not the case anymore. Like people who had tickets for Paris are clowns. We are clowns. You know what I'm talking about. If you know, you know. Anyways, 80s are having a comeback really soon with things or Inception. And can we talk about Inception for real quick? Because this song sounds incredible already. I don't know how idols can actually like do a whole concert and sweating and still look good at the end because I know for a fact that when I attend a concert I don't look half as good as they do on on stage uh, when they're sweating so yeah that's another I'm exposing myself today why not <laughs> boy I look like I've been under the sun for like two hours I haven't but hey who knows maybe it's Maybelline maybe it's just lack of exercise who knows? <laughs> okay, so like I said earlier, I'm gonna try to show you a more feminine looking, not that this isn't, those that were all in the women's section of the website. Honestly, if it fits you, wear it. I don't care in which section you got it. I shop in the men's section a lot of the times, you know, because they have amazing articles. So, you know, just, just know that I got all the articles from today's video on the women's section but honestly wear what you want wear what you feel comfortable in wear what fits you you know this is fabric okay wear what you want live your life you do you you know you do you hmm. <laughs> this overall dress is mine that was not from uh yesterday but i still wanted to try it on to maybe show a different side of the outfits or like a different vibe of the outfits i'm gonna try to put barrettes on and everything go for the more you know cutesy look that is very trendy at the moment so i'll be right back oh my god i look seriously i look like a kid what the hell not that i'm saying that i look young because i know i look like i'm 32 <laughs> i'm not but my god what is wrong with me today are we looking cute or what <laughs> I look ridiculous, but that's okay. I'm gonna embrace it. I think I'm also going to be adding some more blush on here just to, you know, add to this, you know, look. Okay, I'm leaving the fantasy, you guys. Oh my god, I'm leaving. Am I? I don't know. Adding freckles would look cute, but I don't know how to do that, so I'm gonna skip that. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Am I, am I leaving? I don't know if I'm leaving, but maybe it's just all in my head and I'm hyping myself up for nothing. But I feel like this is low-key cute. Maybe not, maybe it's just me. I don't know which outfit you guys prefer. Like, you know what, let me know which outfit you preferred and which one you would personally wear because I feel like all of those outfits that I tried on today are so different from one another. And I know for a fact that I would wear some of them, some I wouldn't. But other than that, I have been personally using YesStyle for like years already, even before having a coat with them, you know. Almost all of my makeup, like Asian makeup, like Korean cosmetic, etc., I bought on YesAsia. Oh, yes, I sorry. Oh, another thing that I would like to know as well, because for most of, you know, those websites or whatever, there might be a long shipping time. It depends on what shipping option you're taking, obviously. I believe they have like free shipping over a certain amount that you're spending on their website and you can use my code, as I said earlier. So, Jesus be karma, there you go. Anyways, with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I will see you in the next video. Bye bye.